Hey, welcome back to another Mixed Media Monday. Today it's all about color and we're gonna talk about color block. Kind of like writer's block, this one is where you're just, you've hit a wall. And every time you go to your creative space, you pull your same colors and your same colors. Why? Because those are the colors that are comfortable. And, and if you're like me, you know that those colors are gonna perform every single time. And um, my favorite colors, the ones that I use most often, I automatically know that no matter what kind of mess I create, the colors kind of bang everything up and make everything look great. Today, what I'd like for us to do is kind of step out of our color comfort zone or just get out of our color rut or um, get move away from our color block. So our challenge today is, I want you to think about a color that is just honestly not your favorite. And as you're looking around your studio and looking at your paints, you just kind of think, you know what? Oh, I never use that whatever color it is. Today, your challenge is to go pick up that color and bring it over to your desk and let's get busy creating. For me, I think honestly the color is my least favorite color, which I I've rarely have a few, but the color that I use the least is orange. I just don't find myself reaching for that as much as I do all of my other colors. So today I've kind of got myself a little palette going with my carmine um, and Indian yellow, and I'm just gonna mix those two to make that orange that just, I just don't, I just never use orange. Um, I've got some white because I think things will get a little crazy and I wanna bring it back. And then to add a little bit of punch, I always like to use my magenta um, just as a little bit of fluorescent. So those are the colors that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna keep it very, very simple in creating my page. Um, but then I've got some fun elements. In one of our other challenges, we broke out our jelly plate. And so I brought along a piece of um, paper that I printed. And then I'm also thinking that I'm gonna use some collage pieces in um, somehow in the spread just to kind of punch things up because if I've just got orange on my page, I need to add another like punch with color. So I planted, I pulled some of my collage sheets to just kind of um, add a little bit more spice to the page. And by collage sheets, I mean a, a simple Google search of collage sheets and millions will flow. Also, a lot of times I will just end up using what I've printed on my um, gel plate to use as collage sheets or different, add different punches of color in my journals. Um, so with that being said, those are the materials I'm gonna use. I will also be using um, this bamboo nib for writing later in my journal. Some, um, oh, let's call this acrylic ink for writing in my journal. Some colored pencils not to forget my jump i don't know why i have two of them uh my jumbo jerry's black pencil neither of which you can even see the writing on anymore because this is honestly just a staple on my table this is one that it's i just love the dark mark that you get when you use these so that's what um that's just always on my table um my brushes and my pens so today i'm just going to keep simple colors some simple supplies and let's get busy getting out of our color block. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I've already prepped my page, if you'll refer back to the video where we look at prepping our pages to get started with journaling, um, I just wanna put myself down a wash of color. And I'm not even necessarily interested in completely filling in the entire page, but I just want some color down. And so, Yep, let's just go ahead and start making ourselves an orange since we already said that that's the color that I use less often. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of water it down a little bit so it won't be like so in your face once we start. Um, and I'm just gonna move it around a bit and let's just add a little bit more water. And Sorry, I can't help myself. I'm gonna put some white onto that. I am honestly not even concerned with um, where my page elements are gonna go yet. What I do know is um, 
I'm just kind of putting some color down to just get rid of the starkness of the white background that we have. And let's just sauce it up a little bit more over here. And my trusty big brush. Use a little bit more of that. And... I think I'm good with my background. Sorry. There we are. So I've got my orange in here. And mind you, you don't have to make a complete orange page unless that's what you want. The challenge is to just use the color that you don't necessarily use often. Um, and I'm going to do my best not to brush it all out. Just it. I don't know why orange has never done anything to me. I just, it's just not my, like my go-to color. Or this is the, ooh, I can't wait to go home and use some orange. Nope, I never think about that. I always um, think about, like, I get excited over other colors, but orange is just not one. So today we're going to make it, and see, I can kind of, I'm okay with this. And so I, I honestly like the, what it's doing. And... I'm going to let this dry up a bit. I don't know why I had to put those marks in there. I think it's to break up some of the orange. But um, I'm going to let this dry up a bit. And I'll be right back so that we can finish up this color block page. Thank you guys so much for coming back. I've let this all dry. You can notice my I've got some orange going on in my background, some red, some white. But I just kept my color palette simple. Now I'm going to go through um, my collage stuff and just kind of... Um, like try on some pieces and I already see that the darkness of this looks great to me so I think this is something that will stay and you can just kind of figure out where you want I just know I never like to put things like right smack in the middle of the page because then or maybe it's just me where I'm easily distracted but I just find that anything that's right smack in the middle makes my eye go smack in the middle and nothing else is important so I think I kind of like that over there, but then I also found this guy that I kind of like just because, you know, she looks weird and I look, feel weird all the time. So I think I, yep, I'm going to carefully cut this in half and put this somewhere. Yes, like right there. Now, mm -hmm, now I'm feeling better. So I've got this piece over here. And this piece over here, I'm going to glue those down. Wait, let's, before we move, let's just make sure everything is happy. <sighs> yep, I think we're good. I am going to, okay, so I tricked you. I am going to find my scissors because cool people keep scissors in their pockets. And I'm going to cut this off a little bit because... That was making Olivia really angry. <laughs> I could already tell. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave this over there and this over here. And in my head, or maybe my idea is, I'm going to write myself a little title up here and leave this space down here for my journaling. Um, so I'm going to glue these down. For my glue, I'm using the Pam Carriker Mixed Medium Adhesive. Mixed Media Adhesive. So I'm going to glue this stuff down let it dry up and I'll be right back no I'm not going anywhere I'm just gonna glue this down what was I thinking my god I'm not going anywhere nope not even in the gluing process but I am gonna put this I'm gonna glue this down wow feel ya wow it's like okay this there we, okay I'm gluing this down uh, oh there's that piece and I think in order to give myself um, some space. I think these are going to be the two elements that I am going to have. Um, also, you may notice, and I'll do something just so you can kind of see what I just did. Um, yeah, let's just put this little piece over here. Um, I put down some of the matte medium, and I put down my piece of paper 
and then I put more matte medium over the top of it um, because I don't want those edges to come up later. So matte, a layer of matte medium or your adhesive, um, your piece of paper, and then another layer over top and carefully put that brush in your water, throw things. Um, so now I'm going to let this dry up and I will be right back this time for real. Alrighty. I want to see if this is dry enough. So I'm going to take my pencil. It's getting there. And I can always tell if it's dry enough by the way that my, if my pencil starts to drag the paint, then I need to let it dry a little bit more. But I think for now this is good. And I just want to kind of make myself a little bit of a mark around this just to um, make a mark around her, I guess. I don't, it's, I don't have, so I'm just gonna outline her with my dark, dark pencil. This is not one that you have to totally be neat about. And in fact, I find that the messier my line is, the more, um, it just kind of gives it character. So don't feel as though you have to be super neat or if your line is messed up, then the whole thing is just bad because, oop. Alrighty. I think I might also leave that for maybe the date um, or something else. And now in looking at this, and a lot of times, let's move this out of the way. A lot of times whenever I'm looking for an image, and maybe you draw, but um, my image, I like for it to tell a part of what's going on with everything else. And so when I was thinking about this or um, um, looking at this image, it always makes me think of something like crazy or so far out there. So I think I like the idea that this entire madness will be called, let's get some ink here. And I'm just gonna use some ink this time to completely go ham and it's dry here we go deep breath it's only ink you can wipe it away but I'm just gonna go trust and let's hope we spell it right your um we can fix it I don't even know how to spell crazy. <laughs> we'll fix that in a minute. Alrighty. Now, I need a little brush because crazy is with a Z and not whatever this is. So I'm just going to rip off some paper and get rid of the A. Well, now I've gotten rid of the whole thing. So this is perfect. You get to watch me course correct because now I've moved into everything else. So I'm just going to take it out while making it worse. Um, but I'm just going to take out that little part and stop dragging in it. And <laughs> I promise it'll come out. You'll see. You will see. Watch this. Watch this, Ophelia. I show you. Where's my water? I show you. Napkin. Who's, who's bad? Who's bad? The ink or Ophelia? Boom, 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 boom. What? <laughs> what? What? Who's boss, huh? Ink or Ophelia? Who's boss? I, it's, I promise. I think I'm boss. <laughs> I think I'm boss. You have no faith in my boss abilities. Who's boss? Ink or Ophelia? Clearly not Ophelia yet, but it's coming. Okay, um, I'm going to start that over 
and I'm just going to put, let's get rid of all of this. Yep, I think we're going to film this part over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just tell me to come back next week. I'm going to put some more paint down where I had to take out a little spelling error. Um, and that's fine too. Um, let's just do some of this. And yeah. Watch. Sometimes, sometimes we like our fixings better than we like our original page. The beautiful part is it's honestly as though a little snafu never happened, except for the fact that I tried to cheat and get rid of the orange. So, we gotta put some orange back in. We're bringing orange back. Orange is the new sexy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> wow, that's just ridiculous. Okay, let's do, because orange is clearly not sexy. I mean, come on, hello. Alrighty, there we are. Now we're gonna let this all dry again. Hold on after I finish putting my fingers down here some more. And two, I'll redo that. Let's do a little bit more of this. There we go. All right. Got it all back. Everybody's fine. Even with the spelling error, the beautiful part is nothing happened. Literally, I just kind of washed it away, um, painted over the part that I did not like, and start over. So it's not like all was lost. Um, it took us a few more minutes, which... But... Um, it's the thing is, or I guess what's great about this is that there's honestly no wrong way to do it. You just watched me go from almost a finished page to a, an ink disaster and we're right back kind of where we left off. So it's, the world is still going. Let me dry it, I'll be back. Now that I think this is dried up a bit, I'm gonna get my pencil here to see if it's dried up enough and I just kind of want to outline it a little bit more. And I think as long as I'm not like um, dragging in paint, that's kind of how I know if I need to um, dry a little bit more or um, I think we're good. So I shall, yeah. Just make myself some marks with that. I'm gonna leave this space open because this is gonna be where I will, um, I don't know, just write some things about today. But I think, and maybe I'll come over here a little bit more and do some line work um, or just doodling around with my pen. I also love the randomness of like stray marks like that. That just adds to the character or mystery of like, ooh, I wonder what's underneath there. Mm, nothing, just a mark, but it's okay. So here we go, back with our ink, and we're gonna do this again. It's all dry, and um, I don't know why it's always habit for me to like make a test mark over here. So here we go, deep breath. I know where the fudge factory is. If we mess, I almost messed up that U, that was gonna be bad. Um, but I literally know that it's kind of an easy, not an easy fix, but it can be fixed. Um, as I'm doing this and, um, I've got the, sorry, I'm just going to show you this for a second. I've got the nozzle pointed toward my paper and my hand kind of gently squeezes and puts pressure on the squeezy part of the nozzle. Um, as I'm writing so that that's how the ink kind of flows and as I feel the little spout thing dragging a little bit that's kind of when I will like put a little bit of pressure on the squeezy part I don't know the name of the suction part 
that's now spilled all over the table. Um, but I'll just put a little bit of pressure on this little plasticky top part, technical, um, and let more ink come out. So let's say, um, trust your, and it's okay if you go, and let's just do it in caps. I'm going to have to redo it. And let's do ideas over here. Okay, this is bad. It's okay, though, because now a lot of times, yep, we're just going to leave that, let that dry. Um, the thing is, it's kind of, once you go in, what you have to do is go in, put your words down, and let them stay, because a lot of times, the more that you try to go in and fix lines, the, the more things will kind of drag. Um, but... You now know that you can literally spray this off with water and start over, um, but just kind of leave it. And you know what? Just trust the craziness of it all. What I'm gonna do next is take a color pencil because I think over here, oh, let's just use this, maybe some of this. Um, I'm gonna make myself, we're not gonna go that bold first. I'm gonna make myself a few lines. And these are going to be the lines that I will use to kind of contain um, my crazy ideas. So I have to make some more. Let's just see what this one would look like. Doesn't matter. I'm just trying out a different, a few different colors of it, but I honestly think I like how um, subtle the orange is, so I'm just gonna leave that one. And this time, let's try, let's try the orange, let's do it. So what I'm gonna do is sit that off to the side and I'm gonna get my dip pen and I'm just going to kind of record what those crazy thoughts were. I'm going to practice. Oops, let's not sit that there. But let's just do... And all I'm doing is following along with those little marks that I made um, with my colored pencils. Let's do. And I'm keeping with my challenge of the orangeness of this. Thank you. that I am going to get my careful not to put my arm in that and get myself my pen and I'm trying let's see here all I'm doing now is just putting in a few lines just to kind of carry out what's going on over here. And because 
that mark here looks a little bit lonely. I'm going to put one out here. And I want to make it look as random as I can. That's random, clearly. And with that, ooh, you know what? I just had an idea. <laughs> ooh, ideas save the day. Sophia loves ideas. She has lots of ideas. Some of her ideas just can never be brought to the public light. I'm going to make this kind of look sketchy. And sketchy right here around. And I'm just using my old credit card, which I honestly use this for a lot of things. But um, I just wanted to make that text box look a little bit sketchy. And now it is. So, I need a tiny, 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 tiny bit of this. And <laughs> glad that was closed. I'm just going to put my period there. And... That's it, and we're done. And I think, nope, no, we're not. We need more than one dot. Uh, there, uh -huh. there we are. Okay. And by virtue of being Ophelia, I want to take that out. Not take it out, but I'm just going to kind of, uh, what do you call it? Crunch it up a little bit if you decide. There I go again with uh, that. Yep, no, nope, we're leaving it. And why? Nope, it's bothering me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just want to kind of grunge it a bit. Boy, if I would have touched that black mark and we would have been back at ground zero of this like I just did. Okay, that's it. We're done. Except for... <laughs> this is so... Oh, you know what? I did. There we are. You just breathe. It's it's okay. It's paper. And I'm going to get myself my tiniest brush. And the very way that we make things up here. We can vanish until we accidentally bump into that black ink that's wet. But um, I'm just going to clean some of this up over here. And there we go. And with that. We are done. We are done. <laughs> oh um, we got a problem here, folks. <laughs> I touched it. It was, it's, well, oh my God. Uh, okay, this is okay. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. We are not using ink again. Don't look at that, Katie. Oh my God, I can't believe I touched that again. Oh, I'll fix it, boss, I'll fix it. Can we cut back it like, and then I'll start over the outro, <laughs> like the intro, we're calling it an out. Just breathe, go take a break. It'll just, go take a break. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bring it back. I know, I know, I know. Never even happened. Don't 
don't do it, Ophelia. Don't, don't you do it. here like it never this journal page is what's that insurance like it never even happened that's what's protecting this journal page can I put it ink again just kidding just kidding I'm just kidding I'm just I'm just kidding we're leaving ink we're not playing with ink anymore um I'm not even gonna yes I am okay Where was I? Before the disaster happened. And with that, we're done. Thank you so very much for joining me today on um, just getting out of your color rut. Please make sure to share pages of you how you used your least favorite color or a color that you don't normally grab so much in your journal. We'd love to see what you've created as I've created. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. We're done. That's a wrap. Um, I went to Target to go grocery shopping, pulled the cart up behind the car, went to put my purse in the seat and got distracted like, oh, look, there's no car in front of me. And I drove right off, left my groceries in the parking lot. By the time I got home, it was too late.